Hey guys, 8 feet here, and this is sponsored by Tylenol, yay! Uh, anyways, um, welcome to Friendship Magic Games. Um, don't worry, um, I did, this isn't a wrong upload, this is still the Rarity Applejack episode, so I got you covered, don't worry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for keep getting your hopes up, but anyways, um, hey guys, uh, Wait for my call. Darn it! Oh yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I have to go pick someone up after this. But anyways, um, hey guys, and welcome to the next MOP Naughty Quester Girls episode. Rarity something something. Uh, I forgot the name of the title, but I have to mention something. Someone had a brilliant idea in my comment section to kind of mention a certain character. A fan favorite, to be more exact, to appear in this episode. And I say that a person right now, why did you spoil it to me? <coughs> why? Why did you spoil it to me that that character was gonna appear here? There was no indications that she was gonna appear. But you have to say it. I know, I know I said something about like, okay, the reason why I believe that person said it is because I was, you know, um... I was typing something about this is um after the episode of um Rarity Investigates. Actually no, it's Cantar Boutique. I said something about like I typed something about like it's almost like an article or something saying Oh, um now that Rarity is in you know up expanding, this gives her the ability to maybe one day find an apprentice and maybe that character will be the fan favorite character. But then someone goes around and say, oh, if that's the case, you don't have to worry then. It, it, that character's gonna appear in a couple of episodes from now. And that happened. So, but hey, um, getting rid of the apprentice part, um, what is this fan favorite character gonna do anyways? Like, that's one thing that I don't know. I know we're gonna go to Manhattan. Um, obviously there's a reason for it to be there. But the question is, what's the conflict? We know Applejack and uh, Rarity. Uh, this, we know Applejack and Rarity will be this. Actually, this is a this is a Rarity episode. Sorry, Applejack, but <laughs> but you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to say. Um, this is an Applejack and Rarity episode based on the elements of you know um table harmony or whatever you want to call that table. Uh, wh uh whose friendship are gonna f are they gonna fix there? Like, uh, is it the fan favorite character? Or is it the one where the fan favorite character used to be with? Or is it someone else completely and it's a completely different thing? Or maybe it's the entirety of Manhattan because you know how Manhattan works, right? Uh, I don't think you're easy to get a fix that. How can you fix Manhattan? So I think it's gonna be a little bit more down. It's gonna be like a more controlled scale, you know, much smaller than in the entire Manhattan, you know, um, metropolis or something. So there's no way they're gonna. Unless they're gonna surprise me and they're gonna prove me wrong. But yeah, um, now that being said, um, next time, uh, for those people who are, you know, you know, um, just to let people know, um, I am trying to be, I, I'm trying to react to videos via, I, I'm react, I'm trying to react to the episodes via blind. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't, like, yeah, like, I think it was in the synopsis or in the description saying that this character has to appear somewhere eventually. But I am intentionally avoiding all of that. I just want to be caught off guard. That's what I'm aiming for in my reactions. I want to be just here at the, at the moment without knowing anything and then just be caught off guard. And that's how I like seeing reaction videos because that's also was, that, that also is the reason why I was inspired to the reaction videos because of the, the moment when you're caught off in the moment, you know? One of those people is Johnny Fireflame. Uh, his reaction to man versus machine you should go check it out and then you'll understand why I want to go blind okay so I while well, I do appreciate everyone you know um you know um being part of the conversation try to avoid spoilers even the smallest bits even the smallest bits just don't mention anything about it okay I if it if you can't tell that if you, you won't be able to tell if it's like a spoiler or not then just don't mention it okay just let's talk about the stuff that was already released instead so that it's no longer spoiled okay it won't be a spoiler anymore okay 
I just want to make sure that my reactions are... I'm trying to recreate that um, Johnny Fireflame reaction moment from Man vs. Machine. I want to get that reaction in my, you know, um, I want that reaction, okay? So, yeah, um, well, anyways, um, speaking of which, I'm sorry if you're gonna be a little disappointed if my reaction isn't, like, you know, full-blown, oh, I didn't expect this, but, you know, um, stuff happens, but, hey, um, yeah, um, without further ado, we're, we already reach our five-minute limit, and that's, there's no such thing. And remember guys, I have two pause abilities. That basically means I can pause the video until I pause it. Like um, I have like a limit of pausing the video twice. As soon as I run out, I won't be able to pause it again. And because I am aware people want me to pause the video sometimes to talk about something, but at the same time, some people don't want me to pause the video and just keep going. So I'm trying to balance it. Okay, guys. Hopefully you understand. Also, I'm not sure if tomorrow or today. Quest, the reason why this this picture you're seeing right up here right now is here is because Equestia Girls Friendship Games is coming out today. It's gonna come around like um, four, five, six, seven, eight, four hours from now. Um, obviously, we're still gonna have to wait for you know um, for it to be made public. But until then, not sure if I'm gonna upload it today. Most likely tomorrow, but not sure. Um, who knows, uh, I could be, maybe there's like a lot of demand, um, that wants me to go upload the video today. But most likely people will be asleep by then, that's what I'm thinking about. Maybe you guys will be asleep by then, because after watching the entire movie, maybe you don't feel like watching, you know, it again. Most likely you may want to watch it tomorrow, so I'm not even sure at that point. Hey, we'll see, maybe just look at your sub box, maybe it's gonna be there, maybe today, who knows. But yeah, um, anyways, um, without further ado, let's begin, because I need to go get someone from somewhere, according to my phone. Okay, then anyways, um, here we go, 75, control 4, control plus 5, control plus 6. Oh, he, spotted by time roll. Not really, don't, don't sue me. It's a boring day, wow. She's actually getting tired of books? I guess because she wants to go to her adventures, based on the table. I'm bored. Wow, you're bored from what books? You reading? That's impossible. Read all these books already. Oh yeah, that makes sense. And? And I'm bored. She wants more knowledge. Things have been so slow around here. Go read comics! <laughs> Something's going on? Oh my god. Oh thank goodness! There you are. Oh, their butts were vibrating, of course. Look at your butt, Twilight. <laughs> yeah. Nope. You're staying here. Go read more books. The same books you read. 20. Actually, no. More than that. Oh, thank you. Whoever did that. Thank you. Oh, oh, look at that. Manhattan. Manhattan. Oh, I've simply been dying to go back for a visit. And now, I return with a purpose. Ugh. It looks like you've been summoned to that this face. particular neighborhood here. We're off to solve a friendship problem in one of the busiest and most vibrant cities in all of Equestria. Diamond Heights from the Arabs? I missed that game. That face. What the hell? What's wrong with that face? What's wrong with the face today? like Manhattan. You may be more of a country pony at heart, Applejack, but the map picked you two because you're the best ponies to tackle this particular mission. I don't know, the table might be trolling. We don't even know what our mission's supposed to be. That You'll find out. That neighborhood probably has twice as many ponies as all of Ponyville. <laughs> more like three times. Why, it's not only home to the haypacking district, it's also home to the fashion district. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure how Jack is gonna think about it. Also, well, poor though, book. Darling. But you did end up quite a fan of the hustle and bustle of Manhattan on our last visit. It's such an exciting city, and there's still so much I'd like to do there. So many museums and historical lands to again. visit. Not to mention all the libraries. Mmm, the libraries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about me. I've got plenty of books to keep me busy. Aww, <laughs> that's sad. Mm. I know the feeling. Just something. Not reading books, I mean boredom. Well, half 
have to miss it. No telling how long we'll be in Manhattan. I sure hope Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle aren't too upset. Don't worry, they understand. Maybe, who knows? They might start blaming you. Okay, so let's see. New design somewhere? Who the hell was that? Uh, everyone is wearing clothes, so I guess it's okay. Hey, it's this again! Don't! Okay, she almost did a twirl. Move so fast here. Not at all like back home. Even though she's been here before, remember, she was in the group before, so she feels safe. Now she's kind of has four less friends. So you know. Remember, Applejack, you're in the big city now. No moseying. You've got to walk with speed and confidence. Remember your childhood, Applejack? The days when you went to the big city? Hurry up! Move it. Sorry about that. I get out of my way. Sorry. Get what? wrecked. Get wrecked. Someone go make a uh, flash game of this. Oh wait, I can make it, but I'm too lazy. How am I supposed to help solve a? Oh, green hat. This is the one. No, no. Excuse me. That hat clashes with your mane. Not to mention, it's far too large and will undoubtedly obstruct your vision. New fan favorite. Oh, do it, guys. Dear. None of these will do. Come on, she likes. She likes it. She wanted to buy it. Look at my look at my bootleg gear. Oh, it's lovely. How much would you like for it? Oh no, no, please, please keep it. I can always make another. You just took someone's business via. The advertisement. You just advertise your stuff for free. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah. What? We just saved that poor pony from committing a terrible crime of fashion. Well, she could have been meeting a friend, would have laughed at a new hat, and then their friendship could have been ruined forever. And yeah, you're overthinking it. Well, this is pony ball, so I guess it's true. A job well done. Not just that. There is some people like that in real life. Still not Rarity, I'm talking about people who are very judgmental. You just lost me a paying customer. Oh my. Oh, I, I am so, so sorry. Go give him I money. Read it. Uh, please accept my sincerest apologies for the misunderstanding. And might I add what a lovely establishment you have here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go make a fan fiction of that guy. Him having a the horrible fight. Yeah. Wow, I can already see people Excuse grinding me? their teeth with this. Friendship problem, any pony? See, we've been sent here to. Wow, that. Uh, that was a cool pony. Uh, if you could just take a moment to. <clears throat> friendship advice. Any pony looking for friendship what advice? Are you, what are you doing? Don't. Good grief! This isn't working. <sighs> I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Well, I don't know. If I can see through the future, it has something to do with a fan favorite character. Oh, try not to worry, Applejack. The map picked us for a reason. Change the billboard to something else, something more suitable with the heart. Oh shit! There it is. Please help us restore our long lost but beloved tradition, the Midsummer Theater Revival. Play the guest performance by local theater troupe, the Method Mayors, as well as games, food, and much, much more. This event promises to bring our Brooklyn neighbors together and restore our sense of community. But there's so much to do, and we need your help. Huh? Huh? I mean. <gasps> She's the one who She's in charge of doing this? That's interesting. Don't you see? This must be why the map called us here. Oh, and you were so worried. Well, I suppose it's at least worth looking into. That is, if we can ever get off this street corner. What's with the epic music in the background? Feels like but it's I can't already. I believe you found my flyer. There it is. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? Oh, wow. Is she making her own. Is that her own business? To be of service. And you, what is this place? Are in need of help. Oh, no look at Applejack. Darling, it's fate. Fate? This I don't know about that. Theater revival. What is it exactly? An outdoor play held at the community park. 
Many moons ago, local theater troops would perform, and ponies in the neighborhood would help make the costumes and design set pieces. It reminds me of Ponyville for some reason. During the performance, y'all do look like you're enjoying each other's company. Kind of reminds me of Ponyville. Yep, yeah, there you go. Lovely, darling. It was up until several moons ago. <gasps> what is it? Did they all grow up? She was a well-known costume designer on Bridal Way. Did I? She started the Midsummer Theater Revival as a way to share her passion for theater with the neighborhood. She no kind of reminds... she was, she always made time for the revival. I was about to say, was that her mother? But when she moved away to be closer to her grand fillies, the neighborhood lost the special tradition she had started. Mm. And worse, the sense of community it fostered. Interesting. Hey, I'm trotting here! <laughs> I tried. No pony elf stepped up to take over for charity? I've been trying to, but I've just gotten a last minute request to alter costumes for the cast of My Fair Philly, and I'm afraid I haven't made much progress. Yeah, over. There's just so much to do to bring back the Midsummer Revival, and my flyers haven't attracted a single volunteer. Well, you did attract them. then. You finish up your work, and by this time tomorrow, you'll be up to your mane in ponies who want to lend a hook. Applejack and I will make sure of it. You will? You bet your boots. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, Time to get ready. I don't wear boots. I find they chafe my calves when I walk. Huh? It's just an expression. <laughs> She's like a Fluttershy except in Ravity so form. The method huh. are I just realized that. One day, and we need all the help we can get with preparation. Yeah, not a good time right now. <laughs> Everyone is busy. It's never a good time. Everyone is busy in the big city, you know? How about... Nah, I won't. I don't know. What do you think? I got my own problems. You think I got hours to dedicate to some pony else's? Ah, uh, yes. Charity's Midsummer Theater Revival. Such what wonderful are you? What do you do? memories. So you'll help us? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I run a very important oat and hay import export business. What? I can't spare even a moment for such things. Hmm. Well, trade is important. Well, uh, this that is happened. a nightmare. Oh, not at all, darling. It's quite lovely. I think she was talking about the Midsummer Theater Revival. Yeah, I don't get distracted. I finished the alterations for My Fair Philly, but have barely started the costumes for the revival, and the Method Mares are coming to the park tomorrow for a costume fitting and rehearsal. Well, I could help you with the costumes. But what are we going to do about the rest? The park is in desperate need of repairs, and the set still need to be built. How about Jack? Well, you I might be able to do that. about building and fixing things. It's kind of, well, my thing. There you go. Could be the reason the map called me here. You see, dear. Go call your Apple family? Volunteers when all the help you need is right here. Uh huh. The map wouldn't have chosen just Applejack and me if it was more than we could handle. Does Cup of know about the map? Just fine. No, it Perhaps won't. I spoke too soon. Oh, no! Gordon work! Oh! Oh, dear. Gordon work! Oh. Right. Are you sure you can manage this by yourself? This is horrible. Uh, there's a lot to do. But where it is right, the map wouldn't have called us here if we weren't up for the challenge. You two go on and take care of the costumes. I'll see you at the dress rehearsal. Oh god, I just realized this is an art pony. <laughs> uh, uh, is this a song? Anyways, you guys should get the joke, right? <laughs> oh god. The horror. The horror. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, work it. Got that hat. Oh, get rid. There you go. The hat is still the same. I thought it would just repair itself all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, get rid. Oh, hat. Ha ha ha. Yeah, get rid. Oh, hat. <laughs> A shade of blue. I know it looks bad, but I'm moving as fast as I can. Don't worry, we've still got plenty of time. Everything's going to be. Um, excuse me. Is Hi, this where the Midsummer Theater revival is supposed to be? Uh, we're here for the dress rehearsal. <coughs> oh, yes. We've just put the finishing touches on the costumes. 
At least those look professional. Ah. We'll do a dry run of the play first, and then the fitting. On that no, stage. Wait. I haven't got a chance to. Well, this is a disaster. We're gonna need to reinforce the stage yet. Yep. This is a big problem. You may need more hands, I mean hooves, on this job. Ah, cocker. I just wanted to live up to Charity's example. To bring my neighborhood together again. Maybe you need to do something else. We haven't even thought about what refreshments to serve during the performance. And even if we had, we don't have a stage for the method mayors to perform on. It's hopeless. Just I don't know, maybe hopeless. she's forcing herself too much. Who knows? Who knows? I could be wrong. I, I could be right. I don't know. Summoned us here to solve a friendship problem. We clearly found it. But why did it send the two of us? Why not Twilight? I'm sure she could have used her magic to transform this park in an instant. I think I, I think got my answer. I mean, I can at least see why you're here. Coco's your friend, and you have an eye for costumes and all. But me? I was never going to be able to finish a project this big. We'll return to Ponyville as failures. Why must this be Applejack? Why? <laughs> why? Why? Mm. Now, hold on there. I'm not suggesting we pack up and go home. <laughs> and what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we stop worrying about what we can't do and start doing what we can. There you go. I think I've got a plan. It won't be anything big or fancy, but it'll be something. Start like start from the bottom right? first. I suppose so. Don't start from the top That's all of a sudden. Spirit? Sort of. Let's see. All right, y'all. It's ready. Okay, so not in the middle, but in the outskirts. Should we go ahead and start? Wait, they're in the middle of the road, right? Excuse me, I'm Charity Kindheart. I'm here about the open design position. Oh God, I just I realized who she's representing. I'm sorry I'm late. I had the hardest time finding my way here. I just moved here, and oh, I keep getting there. mixed up by the street names. I had a map, but I dropped it in a puddle, which only made the street names. I don't know, but right now I'm seeing this I character see. having a what is it? fan art. Oh, so that looks like some kind of play. Well, can we stay and watch it, please? Please, can we? Can we? Yeah, I don't oh, want to go to the cycle. We could stay for a minute. Might as well take Excuse something that is unexpected. But your next appointment is here. All right, send him in. I'm sorry, but based on these samples, I just don't think this is the place for you. No! No! Don't get me wrong. Oh. Clothes are all exquisite and well made, but more theatrical than avant-garde. Have you considered costume design? Oh. I have a contact on Bridal Way. Why? If you're interested. Thank you I for the connections. You in touch with him. And see. There you go. There you go. Yes, wait, wait, how long is this? Charity, dear, is that you? Hello, Mrs. Pear Blossom. I didn't see I like this you. character actor and the character oh, she represents. She both of those uh, characters together. Seriously, yes, I'm serious. Right? I'm being serious. Be finished by now, but there's just so much to do. And I still have a few last minute alterations to make before opening night. I'm oh, sorry, wait a minute. Get enough tickets for Are they representing... Their experience. Also, you're all blocking the road. No, Trotter on the roof is one of his favorites. Oh, my dear Philly, don't worry about that. We are so proud of you. We should be with you in spirit. Thank you. you I just realized we're getting character well development from a character we haven't seen before. Like family to me. I just wish I could share this experience with you and the others. Yeah, what's going on? It's the Midsummer Theater revival. The Method Mayor's up before me. Method Mayor. Oh, the revival. <laughs> yeah, my pop used to bring me. Aww, memories. So nice of you to put on this play for the neighborhood. I couldn't have done it without every pony's help. I, I have to say, this actors are doing a good job. <laughs> Credit them as well. Perfect job. Hey, look, a balloon. Grab the balloon before oh, it flies away. You're such a dear. Thank you. There you go, they're remembering so their. Humanity? What are you calling in pony terms? I don't know. 
humanity? Eh, I don't know, that sounds wrong. Yay! Actors are actually awesome. The actors are awesome. Ladies and gentle coats, please give a warm welcome to the one who made <gasps> Are we gonna see her? Possible, our neighbor, Coco Pomel. Oh, no, it's. Okay, okay, okay. That's well, cool, that's cool, though. Yeah, she is in charge of it, but. She. That character did went to the grand. Is she gonna appear? So much drink coming. Coco. The that would be awesome. Always something that meant so much to me, and it seems it means time has already passed. All of you as well. I really can't take all the credit though. My dear friends Rarity and Applejack helped me. Hey, so your hat is awesome now, Applejack. Are you gonna repair that? Or please, Rabbit please is gonna repair costumes. that. Oh shucks! I just happened to be good with a hammer, is all. To be honest, we had much bigger plans to start. When those fell through, we decided to simplify. There you this go. here was the result. Oh, don't be so modest. Coco and I were lost. You bet your boots we were. Ah. The sense of community in your local area. Do it for your to your community. Ah, that character again. I wonder if that original pony gonna show we up. We wanted to see how much we enjoyed Hello the there. Theater revival and how much it Hey, you us. there, trader girl, oh, dude. Yeah? I used to think that to help my community, I had to do something big. <laughs> and let's face it, in this day and age, who has the time for such a commitment? But here, you did something as simple as building a stage and putting on a play. You have to start somewhere, you know. Now it's brought every pony together. I saw Coco's flyers for volunteers, but didn't think anything I'd have time to do would be that useful. Now I wish I'd offered to help. Even if it was just pulling a few weeds or planting a few flowers. Not sure if you noticed, but the park is far from being fixed up. I imagine Maybe this will, you know, make them to want to go help now. For, the for future, you know, future and purposes. And I don't think we'll be alone. There you go. Hey, it's vibrating again. <laughs> yeah, but Jack's like it. it. I mean, sorry. What? Oh wow, Applejack's had this is unique. Huh. Magic to fix the park, it wouldn't have fixed the real problem, which is that these Manhattan ponies didn't think they had time to do something for their community. That is true. Everyone does that nowadays. Because hey, life is busy. Kind of sad to think about it. You can make a big difference. Well, I'll be. Seems you have more in common with the Manhattan ponies than you thought. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but all the same, I'd sure like to head back to Ponyville on the next train. I want to check in with Apple Bloom and find out how the Sisterhood Social turned out. Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, don't. Just as soon as I stop that pony in the shop over there, don't. That dreadfully hideous don't. 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 Eh. Yeah! Life is so busy today. I mean, the present or something. Take your time sometimes to commit to your community, wherever they are, local online. It doesn't matter. Get together with your community. Uh, sponsored by Tyler, no. Don't, sp don't sue me though. Not sponsored by them. Just having fun with the sponsorship them. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, guys, um, that was a... Huh, I'm not sure if I should say Applejack or Rarity episode. This feels like more of an Applejack episode. That's good, because, you know, um, yes, we did get a Rarity, but it was more a little bit more focused towards... I don't know. <coughs> because there are moments where Rarity shines, and then there are some moments where Applejack shines. So I guess this is even. I'm trying to think like a... Well, Object has more screen time. That doesn't mean that Rarity had her, you know, um, awesome moments. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, this is a legit Applejack Rarity episode then. So, yeah, I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But, yeah, um, anyways, let me extend this a little bit because I'm gonna talk a lot because that's me. Maybe not. Depends. I still have to go get someone. But don't worry, um, they're gonna wait for my, yeah, they're still waiting. But, I'm, I'm still waiting, I mean. But, anyways, um, 
yeah, uh, we get to see um, Coco Pomelo back, but I guess that apprentice theory that I said, either that will happen somewhere in the future because it wasn't disproven, it could be, still be a possibility, but most likely Coco Pamel may not be the apprentice that I used to think because Coco Pamel has a reason not to go. She has a community now. I, I mean, she has a community, you know, um, to take care of. So, and you know, she's already actually doing very well in the theaters, in Manhattan theaters, and stuff like that. So, most likely, if we are gonna go for the apprentice um, theory that I said, of, you know, Ravity works too hard, but she still wants to mass produce it without going full-blown assembly line, Ooh, she's gonna need an apprentice. And I don't see Coco Pamel going with that because of the fact that Coco Pamel is satisfied with where she is right now. She has a community right now. She has a community to take care of. She has her job now, which I believe now is a full-blown job now because, you know, thanks to Rarity's connections, connections is a big deal in life as well, guys. If you know any friend, or not just even friend, um, any, you know, um, contacts who kind of are thinking of trying to find something and maybe you have an idea um, for a connection to, you know, maybe you know someone who might help your friends or your associates, um, get them together or just mention that person to this person and, you know, build those connections and the things that you can do with that, the things you can do with that. It's very important into this in today's generation, especially for the fact that because back in those back in you know the days before the internet and stuff like that, um, we were uh, people were more you know um, person like physically there, you know physically there talking to you, talking to me, you know sharing connections together, and it makes you actually you know um, it gives you like a more physical like um, assur assurance when it comes to you know create the connections to one another um, but now we're in the online generation where everything is judged mostly on paper or based on the description you you provide in your online portfolio which is kind of just think about it would you would you wait give me a sec I it's hot right now let me just there you go anyways um would you rather trust a piece of paper or someone you actually get to see like how they you know um how they actually you know perform how they actually you know um how they you know act what's their personality is um i would rather go for a person who i've seen you know done it who done do it rather than a paper because yeah, like that's kind of um, like yeah. The paper is important, but if you want to get the person to know, that if you want to get um, get to know about the person, then seeing them or interacting with them physically is important. But the online, but uh, but speaking of the online um landscape, um, we're in a generation where we can still do the connections, but we don't get to physically be with there with them. Um, some people will say that's um you know bad. But right now, but for me, um, I say it's a frontier. We are in the how do I say this? Uh, in the internet's infancy with what it's com what it's fully capable of doing. We're still like in this infancy, in my opinion, when it comes to you know um, properly like setting rules and I guess um the know and hows when it comes to you know um building relationships via online. Because compared to the physical one that I talked about, um, the, the disadvantage of this is that um, you're limited to a certain range of where you can be at at that at a certain area. You have to go there and uh, physically, and sometimes you won't be able to get the full range of everyone. But it'll make you it'll make your bonds you know more stronger. You'll get like a much more you know um you know a much more valid um. A valid um, recommendation for connections on the other hand the online world on the other hand you have more um, connections further now I mean in fact I think you don't even as long as you have connect uh, as long as you have the internet with you you can c contact that person wherever you are and if you share the same interest most likely you're gonna meet somewhere in, in virtual reality and stuff like that and then you know build connections 
The problem is... You guys should understand this because we're in the internet generation. We're in the ge- internet generation. Should you un- should understand what I'm talking about? But just in case, um, don't. Here's my point. Um, the disadvantage that because of all the options that we have right now, uh, for some reason, like I think I'm saying that we still don't have like the proper area to meet in the internet. Yes, we have video games to play, and. We got, you know, forums to go through or meetups and stuff like that. But we still don't have, like, that proper, like, we need, like, a... Not, I'm not trying to, like, make, like, a, a new website pitch or something. But I'm just saying, is there a website out there? Or not just a website, or even, like, a method in the internet to kind of do something similar to the previous way of how we do connections. Because, yes, um, we get... We get, uh, yeah, I get to make friends um, in, uh, from England, I'm in America right now. I, I was originally from Asia, I moved to America, I was able to make from the UK, Can- Canada, Brazil, and all that stuff. It's awesome. But, um, we're also limited to not being able to physically, you know, meet each other. And, well, yes, you can do recommendations and, co- and connections. It isn't as strong as the one that we have back in those days when the internet doesn't exist and they're more local so you know they can actually be more active to one another um they can keep building it up on the other hand um we're in a gener- on the other hand on the internet side which um translate to this episode everyone is busy online right now yes you get to meet up in, on- in online but right now um you know Real life is here to say, time to do your real life job, bros, because, you know, it's your duty to live. So, yeah, um, everyone is busy, especially in the internet. Like, uh, I remember those friends that I mentioned just now? They are busy with real life right now. And I haven't talked to, uh, so I haven't talked to some of them, like, months. And that's not how you build connections. I usually, uh, if I really want to build connections with them, I would be physically there with them, helping solving their problems with them, you know? That's the disadvantage of the internet stuff, and at the same time, um, the disadvantage of the physical stuff is the range of connections you can get through. Uh, so we're like of a, you know, um, it's, it's like a trade-in or something. Would you rather have something like create strong bonds, or would you have a something where you have more exposure throughout the world or something but the connections it really depends on which how ac- how active you are on it depends it really depends like um how do i say this it's like this um um would you rather um try to build connections on the uh, online by taking your time like you know um converse um having conversation with someone online or would you rather go call, have a conversation with someone physically and at the same time helping you um, solving stuff? Like, example, like a, um, like what happened to here in Coco Pamel. Like, a, she wants to do something for a community. Um, on the online terms, if you're like countries away, all you can just do is, well, just say good luck. Or you can maybe... Maybe you donate money or all that stuff, but you can't really physically be there to help them. On the other hand, on the physical world, you can still, you know, have a conversation with them. And at the same time, you can be right there helping your friend, you know, um, do that community service that um, he or she wants to do. And it builds that bond because you two are working together, physically working together. So yeah, um, that's why I say the internet is still in its infancy when it's come when it comes to like building connections and stuff. So you know, um, I'm just saying that the in- like I'm just saying that I can see the positives and negatives of internet usage when it comes to creating relationships and connections versus the physical world that we actually you know um originally um developed from. But that's the thing though. Those days, um, they never had internet to begin with, so they have like millions of, they have millions of years to develop and to prefer, to perfect that method of, you know, building connections 
and we recently just got the internet like a couple like ever since like the 90s and stuff like that and that's very recent that is very recent so we haven't mastered uh, internet usage when it comes to building connections and relationships to one another and making it um, stronger via bonds without you know um, going off the threads of you know because you sh- remember instead of you like working on the volunteer stuff and um, to help your community you take your time to not do that and instead um, take your time via online to, con- to have a conversation with someone when you could be doing something else that is helping your community to begin with or not just community anything that you do your life problems um, your relationship problems with another person or just outright like um, just be there with them physically so I can understand the disadvantages and advantages of each um, right now obviously if you really want to make a strong bond go with this physical route um, while how about this Instead of going back to the past, like I say, the internet is still in its infancy. We still haven't developed like a proper method yet. So I say, do the do the physical world stuff. Um, you know, do do the physical connection relationship stuff via physical world, and try balancing out with the online world. Like, don't um stay on one side too long or something because we are in a generation where you really need to make more connections um further and further away from your local area you need to reach people from across the world and stuff like that because we are globalizing rapidly and i don't see it slowing down and the fact is we're like in the wild west there is no rules when it comes to making proper connections or relationships via online you need to kind of make it yourself because there is no rules yet and no we it's a lawless world out there and it's not physically touchable so you know what i'm talking but you know what i'm trying to say so yeah um yeah um that's my opinion on what this episode gave me that's what the episode made me think um building connections and you know um yeah and trying you know and not trying but keeping those bonds together strong when it comes to via connections so yeah guys some um, connections is very important in in the world because like how that presentation show uh, not that theater showed like you know um th- while the boss says um i can't accept you because of the clothing it feels more theatrical but i do know someone who might help you and see that built it that's that's an opportunity that nowadays is very hard to get everything is like assembly lines now and that sucks you could either like like right now we're in a generation where i look at your portfolio um sorry you have a name that's hard to say i'll just go pick the other guy instead because he has a better name to say yes your name can affect your career it sucks but on the other hand uh, on the other hand what's on the other hand they judge you via portfolio and that's and you know so usually um there are other ways where you can actually uh, have connection like if you have an employee with you who's been very good with you and uh, w- working with you Sometimes they'll do like a recommendation, and they would, and the managers would actually, you know, uh, the employer would say, "I'll take this into consideration." That's a form of connection that we that is, you know, very effective when it comes to, you know, would you rather trust your employee who's been working with you for the longest, or would you just go trust around the person you've never seen before? See, that's another form of connection that is very important in in the economy section of you know getting a job. So yeah, guys. Um, I am aware that a lot of people, especially people that I know that are having a hard time getting a job, yes, you can go to the assembly line method of getting a job. I know it sucks. So you, how about um, you know, ask your you know, ask your relationships from other people, your parents, your friends, your uncles, your aunts, something like that. They might know something. They might know so. They might know like some connections that might help you or if you or you can actually you know um try uh like that's the problem though if i say go find a recommendation online by your online friends you can't because you're not in the same area 
Unless you get lucky. I am aware I do have two friends who are luckily enough to be in the United Kingdom. So, you know, they can physically meet each other. I'm kind of jealous, you bastards. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah, guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, this While this episode wasn't stellar and stuff like that, it, make, it makes you think. It makes you think. And it's a good represent, representation of, you know, connections via the real world. Yes, um, there are moments when there are like questionable stuff like gravity, um, you know, but hey, um, that's what, you know, that's what makes a character. The flaws that they, 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 that comes with the package that they are, they're not perfect. And that's what makes them almost like human, even though, yeah, like that's true. Don't, I know some people will hate on gravity because of that moment when she kind of stole someone's business unintentionally. Because of you know their flaw, um, gravity's flaws so, of you know, um, seeing fashion literally in everywhere. I can already tell. Um, I guess two people. I can already tell two people will be pissed off in that moment. I can already tell. But other than that, I can already tell the majority will also have the same reaction. But just keep in mind, guys, no one is perfect. No one is perfect. Remember that. No one is perfect. Even in a show about colored, coated ponies, that's what what makes us like the show. They aren't perfect. So yeah. Um. So anyways, guys. Um. Thanks for watching, and until then, see you in the next reaction of Equestria Girls, Friendship Games the movie. Maybe today, or tomorrow. I don't know. Just, we're gonna have to wait for future 8-bit decision. Okay? Okay. Thanks for watching and until then, 